It was Wednesday about an hour ago. So, another day. I'm, I'm honestly not sure what's going on. I know I say this every week, but where the heck is Sophie on our new Tuesday? Is that a spider? I hope not. I don't know. And now I'm hearing rumors about another Tuesday, and Steve's gone, and Kylie. I think it's Kylie, isn't it? Oh my gosh. I have a terrible memory these days. I don't really know what's going on with me. I just feel... I feel very... blah. Like, I'm out of school, I don't have anything to do, and I don't have a lot of friends here, and I basically just sit in my in-laws' basement all day and sleep. And sometimes I play WoW. And sometimes I steal patches on my guy blanket. And sometimes I go on my Etsy account. But I don't really pay any attention to YouTube anymore. And I just, I just a blog because my computer's being all fritzy and my hard drive's failing. And then on top of all that, my video camera won't load to my desktop or my laptop. But I have to tell you, I finally hit level 50. Only 30 more levels, still 80. And only 20 of my goal to get to level 70 by the end of summer. Or was it 60? I can't remember. I don't read a lot. I haven't hit any new leeway on the 50 book challenge. I just feel so unaccomplished. And then just top it all off, here's the little, con the little channel I could, vlog countries that I try to pull out of nowhere and it's not doing so well and nobody's vlogging and Steve's gone and it's just like one bad thing after another. So I tell you that I have to replace these things in my brakes that are 400 bucks each and there's no way I can replace them so my car is screwed and I want to take it to get an inspection so I know how much is wrong and how much I have to replace but Alex says that if I take it in and there's so much wrong that they know that they're not supposed to let it leave then it moot. So if I take it in for an inspection and there's too much to get fixed then they won't let it leave. They legally can't let it leave the shop until it's fixed and I can't afford it. I only have five grand left in my college fund, and each semester is going to be at least two grand. So I only have enough for one more year of college, so I need to start applying for scholarships, which is great, except for the fact that I needed at least 75, 76%, and I thought I was going to get 90 in creative writing, so I thought, hey, this will all be good. And then I ended up getting way less in creative writing for whatever reason, and so I'm not eligible for 20 scholarships I applied for with the school, and I have a video scholarship to RBC that I applied for, and I didn't get selected, and I just, I don't have the ambition to apply for the craft dinner one. It's just, I don't feel like I'm good enough, you know? Like, I try and try and try to do all these scholarships, and it's like constantly, it's just never good enough. I just feel very depressed, but I don't mean a, I don't mean for this to be a depressing vlog, I just want to get it out there that I just feel so unaccomplished right now. I don't know what's going on. Everything's just slowly falling on my head. Well, nothing's actually falling on my head. <sighs> oh. It's the summer. Why does everything end in the summer? Should we notice that, like, girl guys are done and sports are done except for baseball, which I'm not very competitive with sports, so I was never good at that sort of thing. And my Etsy account's just going bleh. Nobody's bought anything. Because, of course, it's too expensive, but I need the money for school, so I have inflated prices. <sighs> Top that all off, my health insurance wasn't covered, or my wisdom teeth weren't covered, so I'm like 18 grand in the hole, and my grandmother paid for it, she said she would pay for it, she was telling me when I graduated that she was going to pay, or she was had 20 grand saved up for my teeth, because she wanted me to get straight teeth, because I have a, I have a underbite, see, I can fit my finger, right here, anyways, but then, then I told her I didn't want it, I didn't want to get braces, and she told me fine that I was going to have a grad present, and she was going to give it to my cousin, who's not really my cousin, because her mom never married my uncle, but she'll never give it to Brittany anyways, because Brittany treats her just as much crap like I do, and knowing her, she's going to keep all the money to herself anyways, knowing my grandmother, so then my grandmother paid for my teeth, and we had to refund my credit cards, and now she's saying that she needs the money back because they're in the hole. And, I, and then she said, well, if you give me the money, then I can give it back to you for school. But she's the one that said she would pay for my college, and she still hasn't contributed. And I'm her only granddaughter. And top it all off, she's telling my fourth cousin, so her second cousin, that she's going to pay for her first year of college. Which is retarded, because, I mean, I'm her only female relative in close vicinity, and she can't even pay for mine. I mean, I'm not trying to get greedy, but it just it really sucks when your other relatives who have other grandkids and other nieces and nephews that they're helping out are helping me ten times more, a hundred times more than what she is. Especially after she promised. I mean, my dad went to college, my uncle, I think he went to college. I mean, they only had two kids, and now I'm their only granddaughter, their only legitimate grandchild, and it's just just like, hi, you know, I'm not trying to be greedy about it. I mean, if they're broke, I understand, but don't be making promises. And then she said that I need to get my passport so that we can send Alex and I on a cruise for Alex's grad, which is great, but why would they give him a grad present when they only know him a year? You know, I mean, I mean, it's good that they're giving him something, right? But when you could put that money towards my college, it just makes me upset. And then she turns around and she tells me that she really needs money back from the, from the dentist office, the 1800, which I could understand, except that she says that I could use it for school. So if I got any back, I was going to put it in my school account. And then I found out that my health insurance, when I switched down from full time to part time, they took away my full dental coverage. So I'm not getting any of that money back. And it's just like, she doesn't get it. I keep telling her that I'm not getting any back. And she just keeps harassing me about it and harassing me about my teeth and how I need to get them straightened. I'm like, don't. I mean, you've known me since January. Did you know I had an underbite until I pointed it out just now? Could you tell it all? Does it affect who I am as a person? No. I mean, I'm not no Angelina Jolie that's half plastic. I'm just a girl. I don't need straight teeth to write books. Creativity comes from imagination, it comes from your heart. It doesn't come from straight teeth and braces. I'm like so insanely frustrated. I just. And I just need to stop spending money, but I'm so hungry all the time. I want to eat so much. McDonald's and Wendy's and Swanson TV dinners and cheesesteak and Moxie's and creme brulee and, oh, chicken cordon Swiss. I'm an eater. I eat a lot. Rice crisps. That's what I want right now. Dill rice crisps. You know those little rice crackers? Ugh, maybe I'll go make a bag of popcorn. I just feel so down myself. Like, what am I doing right now? Honestly, I'm lying on the floor. Like, I'm not even moving around and showing you different things and being interactive. I'm lying on the floor and filming a video. Like, three hours past my deadline. It's gonna be ten times longer, and I'm gonna be one of three people to post this week because nobody else is on the channel anymore, and it's just like, oh, Everything I do just sucks. Then you're gonna put in the comments, pity party, pity party, and you know what I guess it is. It's just, I feel so lonesome. You know?
know. And Thursday, the new Thursday message me, and that was really nice, and I really appreciate it because I was kind of feeling down, and I still am feeling down, and just, you know, it really just tweaks me. Like, I remember earlier this year, or in 2008, before the New Year came, I got this message telling me that I ruined someone's high school life because, oh, and I pushed my boyfriend away, all because I was bipolar and whatnot, and I was ridiculed so much by this girl in high school. Everybody was calling me bipolar, and it really affected me, and I went to the counselor and everything, and, like, they were all back, like, my counselor, I saw her, like, every week because I was just so tortured and teased, and, I mean, it's not a bad thing at all. I mean, the Lord can handle it so well, and I don't know. I'm not bipolar. Not that it's a bad thing if you are. I'm just saying, not bipolar. And here she is telling me that I'm bipolar. And I push everyone away. And she's like, you know what? I broke up with my boyfriend for five years because he was mentally and physically abusing me. Not because I was bipolar. Not because I was depressed because everybody was teasing me all the time. But because I couldn't handle it. I couldn't sit there and be pushed around anymore. Like, I literally did everything for him. And it was just like, all down the drain. And now, I've got this cute little life and this cute little basement suite, this, this hot boyfriend. And it's just like, I have nothing to do now. Like, I'm not saying I want to be back in that situation because I don't. I would do anything to stay out of it. And I am. But I mean, I can't get any more hours at work. I can't join girl guys until September. I can't afford to go to the pool. I can't afford to drive to the beach. I can't afford to go to the mall. I can't afford to even leave the house because I don't have the gas money. It's just... Uh, I want to go to Europe. I think every Canadian has said that at least once in their lives. I want to go to Europe. Not because of... It's different. Because I would love to go overseas. I would love to travel right now. And I know I can't afford it. But next year, next year will be good because next year, I'm taking a year off once I'm done my next year school. So this year coming up, I'll be done my associate of arts degree and I'll be done. And then I'm going to take a year off and I'm going to go to Europe. And I'm going to travel. And I'll go to Ireland and I'll go to Austria. I tell you, I'm Austrian. We never guess it. My grandfather's from Austria. And I'll go to Germany and Hungary and Turkey and France and England and Switzerland. And I just want to backpack around and get like a Eurorail pass or something and find the cheapest way. And I, maybe I'll go see Lorcan and Sophie and Alex really wants to go to New Zealand. So maybe we'll go there. And I just want to be adventurous, you know. I want to go do things. And I can't. Maybe that's why I feel so down lately. Anyways, I'm just stop. I'm lying on the floor. I'm room with pianos, but I can't play because they're too loud. And I'm supposed to be writing a 500 word essay on what my favorite office supply ever invented is for a scholarship for like Canadian company of supplies of office stuff. I've got no idea what it is. It's called Copa. State that offering stables employees and stables families scholarships two thousand dollars should only be good for one semester. And it's just like, and then I'm applying for stable scholarship and I probably won't get that because well, I would pick Amy in the middle of nowhere. I mean, it doesn't matter how much shit I did in grade twelve. It doesn't matter what my grades were like in grade twelve. All that matters is college, and I can't even afford college. So how am I supposed to have a scholarship entry? It's just like getting your own place in Canada every time I apply. So you have to be at least nineteen. Okay, pass that requirement. And then you have to have references. Well, I don't have any references because nobody will rent to me because I don't have references. So how am I supposed to get references if no one will rent to me? And I try to explain that to people and they're just like. Well, find somebody who doesn't need references. Well, everybody wants references because they don't want to get screwed over by the renters. And like, this girl I work with is like, well, just lie about it. I'll pretend to be one of your references. And I'm like, well, that's ridiculous. I don't want to have to lie just to be a part of this world. I just want to be able to be rented. I want to be trusted. You know, I want somebody to put their faith in me and say, okay, you can rent this. And I will be your first reference. But nobody's willing to take a first chance on me. And maybe that's why, maybe that's why I'm so angry and... Wow. I just have like so many emotions in me right now. I just feel so... I think I'm going to go make Oho Deus this. Because I can't. <sighs> because I have so many bloody popsicle sticks and it's been so hot lately that I might as well do something with that embroidery floss, right? Yeah, I'm gonna go be awesome. I will see you guys later. In a better mood. Next week I'm gonna be in a better mood. And maybe we'll have our money back. And maybe we'll have a Tuesday again. And maybe 